Another story of an unexpected visitor while camping is shared on the YouTube channel Asleep 5 Decades. This time, a woman named Lisa was camping in her van overnight. Lisa calls her van the dream machine, which she uses for traveling. She was woken up for a deep sleep around 4.30 in the morning by knocking on her van near her head. The knocking consisted of three sets, each with three knocks. By the third set of the knocks, she took out her phone and started recording. Somebody's back here again. I hear footprints. Hello? How can I help you? It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? It is definitely concerning for someone to approach a woman's van at 4.30 in the morning, especially if she is inside. It's important to prioritize safety in such situations. If you feel uncomfortable or threatened, it's best for you to trust your instinct and take necessary precautions. So I quietly got up and I went to the front and I peeked out and parked way up at the, on the drive. All I could see is like headlights and then they backed the out and went so and left. It's unclear if someone else was in the car, but the next morning Lisa saw big boot marks in the snow near her van. It seems like a man tried to get into her van, but couldn't because it was locked. We are discussing the fear of the woods or forests known as xylophobia. This fear is quite common among people as being in a forest at night can trigger innate fears related to survival instincts. The darkness and the unknown elements in the woods can evoke feelings of fear. It's natural for our minds to be cautious in such environments where potential threats may exist, whether they be wild animals or other humans. It's important to remember that these fears are a part of our evolutionary response to danger. If you ever feel anxious in such situations, it's okay to seek support or reassurance from others. In this video, we witnessed a group of friends enjoying a camping trip in woods. They were gathered around the fire, having a good time and drinking. However, their fun was interrupted by strange noises coming from not too far away. These noises began as loud bangs and escalated into something more unsettling as they continued. One of the men in the group decided to start recording the sounds, capturing them on video. I hear it. Get Trevor. Austin, get the light. Hey! That was not an elk. Everybody, get in my truck! It sounds like the sounds captured in the recording are quite mysterious and unsettling. The combination of unknown bangs, animalistic grunts, and calls with the human elements raises questions about the origin. The volume and the power behind these vocalizations, despite potential audio quality issues in the recording, add to the entry. The presence of the multiple sources for the sounds with varying distances adds to the complexity of this situation. The questionable nature of the banks further adds to the mysterious surrounding the events in the woods. It's understandable that such experiences can evoke curiosity and perhaps a sense of unease. It seems like there is a lot of force behind the loud banks. If the banks were caused by someone hitting a tree with something, the rapid speed of the banks would be very surprising. The banks sound like a drumming which raises questions about who would be drumming in the woods at night and why. Whatever the noises were, the group of friends made a smart decision to quickly leave in their truck. Another type of camping is car camping, which is often done in truck, van or larger vehicle. Car camping can offer 
a greater sense of security compared to the camping in tent for various reasons. In a video, a young man named Noah took his truck to Sun River where he discovered a deserted road Go next bro. to the woods. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. And there's someone walking around my truck right now. If you can hear that, it's pretty loud. He's been walking around for like 20 minutes already. Um, my gun's in my cap. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. And it's like pitch black outside. Probably like two in the morning. He's walking around and he's like really close to my truck. I've never been this scared. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see. No one was on that road. He's literally, he's literally walking. He's literally walking on my truck. The canopy, the back door's locked. Noah decided to drive his truck down this road and park there for the night to sleep. Believed it, it would be a great spot to camp as he thought no one else would be around. However, he was mistaken. During the night, Noah was awakened by the sounds outside his truck, promoting him to start recording on his GoPro. In the video, we can hear someone running their fingers on the truck's glass and tapping on it at different times. Then, the video shows the next day when Noah sees the hand marks all over the back windshield. This suggests that the person outside was trying to clean the glass to see inside the truck, so Noah wasn't as alone in the woods as he thought he would be. But he was safe inside the locked vehicle instead of tent. In this video, another YouTuber is sitting by his campfire at Very Lake in Quebec late at night. He hears a strange sound in the distance and decides to check it out. Let's see how this place looks like without any lights. Pitch black. Imagine being out here. This is one of the creepiest forests I've ever been. And I'll be spending the night here. I'm not sure if you guys ever seen the Blair Witch Project, but damn, this is just giving me Blair Witch Project vibes. Moments after stating how familiar this environment is to the Blair Witch Project, this happens. Fuck. Oh, hi. What the hell? I need to get out of here. With only his flasher to guide him, he walks through the dark woods. Imagine being in a place with no lights. It's one of the spookiest forests he's ever been in. And he's going to spend the night there. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the Blair Witch Project, but the situation is really reminding me of that movie. Just after mentioning how similar this place is to the movie, a high-pitched voice calls out from the dark woods saying, I see you, I see you. It sounded like it might have been a child. The man filming acknowledges that he could have been another camper. He said he had been in woods many times before and he never saw anyone else there. If it was another camper, it would be very scared to call out to someone in the woods because it could make them really scared. The man returned to his campsite and never heard the voice again. 